What's up guys, Gary Dean. This is yet another The Untold Truth in Detailing. Uh, I know I haven't done one of these in a while and I keep thinking about a certain topic in particular that really, really irritates me when I see things happening online and in real life with detailers or even, well, I shouldn't shouldn't say detailers uh, specifically, uh, that would be more of a generic term, uh, more specifically just people in the, who are trying to break into the industry and people who are already involved in the detailing industry. I am a businessman. Let's just get that straight. Just in case there was any question in your mind where my heart is, my heart is in business, but specifically the detailing business. So with that said, how I don't understand why it's so difficult for a lot of you guys to comprehend the difference and make the transition from the hobbyist to the business person. Now, like I mentioned already, I am absolutely without question a businessman. I just happen to be in the detailing business. And I can honestly say that it took me several years to understand what it means to be a business person and what it means to be a hobbyist. The hobbyist in the most generic definition I can give in the detailing industry, the hobbyist is the person who is working to make himself happy. Now, the problem with that is you will spend too much time, you will work too hard, and you will be working to fulfill the need as a hobbyist to produce a result that the customer will never benefit from. The businessman, specifically re referring to the detailing businessman, will work for the customer to make the customer happy. And that is where the money is made. That is where referrals are made. Um, that is where your business will start to benefit from uh, the whole situation is if you are focused on customer centricity. Now what I mean by customer centricity is you need to find out what that customer wants. When you're, you need to have a five minute consultation for every job that you have. And in that initial five minutes, you greet the customer, you try to build some rapport with the customer, build that relationship, answer the questions that the customer may have about what you should or shouldn't do. You also are gonna to wanna to give them your opinion on the situation. However, it's most important to find out what parts of the job that you'll be working on are most important to the customer. Is there a scratch that stands out to the customer? Do the customer, or does the customer specifically want you to address swirl marks? Does the customer understand that there are scratches underneath those swirl marks that may need extra polishing to remove? It is your job to educate the customer, but you need to do it in a way that they understand. Don't get overly technical with them. Feel the customer out. Understand what the customer wants by asking questions and give them what they want. And I'm not, I'm not, don't for one second think that I'm saying you should not go above and beyond. 
I am specifically saying that you should go above and beyond what the customer is asking you to do. However, there is a level of that that is not understood or even appreciated and the customer doesn't care at some point. So you need to focus on what the customer cares about the most and really handle those issues well. But beyond that, make sure that you get what you've promised them as far as the job that you've sold them done properly. Um, when it comes to removing panels in a car to clean up dirt and debris that the customer doesn't even know is there, when it comes to removing seats and and uh, consoles and you know um, if the customer says nothing to you about their engine bay and you run it by them and they have no interest in it you going underneath that hood of that car for any reason doesn't matter because they don't care you could do it for them uh, just as an added benefit if you want but it's a waste of time that customer did not bring you that car to clean that engine bay if they didn't mention it to you I'm saying you need to work smarter not harder but focus more on what is going to make that customer happy and less on things that make you happy think about that guys it's very important you can spend all day long working on a car but if you've done thing that, things that the customer didn't ask you to do, you're wasting your time. And your time is valuable. The less time, and I used to feel the same way you guys do when I got into this. I want to be this quality detailer, these hacks on the market. I'll tell you what, those hacks that I always thought were hacks, those people are making money. Because they're, they're doing what the customer said. Now, your processes should be better than the next guy. Your quality should be better than the next guy. But you need to focus the quality on things that matter and not so much on the things that don't matter. And that's what I'm getting at. I'm not saying cut corners. I'm not saying don't do as good a job as you should. I'm saying take the customers like how they feel about the situation their expectation the budget on the job the time that you have the time that your customer has and find a balance with all that if the customer is not paying for it and it takes you more than a couple of minutes to handle you're wasting money period you're wasting time, which is money to a detailer. And I mean, here's the deal. Like I mentioned to you, I'm a businessman. I, want, I am in business to make money. I'm in business, I'm in the product line game because I wanna make money. I wanna sell you product. That's what I wanna do. I'm a salesman, I'm a, a, a manager, I am a marketer, I'm an advertiser, I'm an executive, um, I'm a, a bookkeeper, I'm, I do all, I wear all kinds of hats and I do that very well. What I do know is I'm not trying to get you guys to not enjoy what you're doing because the whole point of being in this is people think of detailing as an art. Well, your customer doesn't, they don't, they don't give a shit what kind of art you're you're uh, you're doing what kind of artist you are they want a good quality job in a good quality amount of time for a good quality price they want a specific job to be done and then they want to go about their day they're not going to spend the rest of their day thinking about how well you did on their car they don't care that's temporary gratif gratification for them you know, they may sit and look at it and take some pictures and stuff like that if you really did a transformation job, if they paid for that. 
or some of those paint correction guys, these high-end, you know, these car enthusiasts that go to shows or whatever, they, they might spend a little bit of time admiring their car, but as soon as that novelty runs off or wears off, it's just another car wash, period. And so my point to you, it's a long-winded point as usual, is do what the customer wants. Do a little bit that makes you happy if you need to. You absolutely need to enjoy what you do. That's what this is all about. You go from a hobbyist into a businessman, you need to enjoy what you do. Um, I, I own several businesses, uh, and I can tell you that the product line is not my bread and butter. Uh, I can tell you that my services are not my bread and butter. Bread and butter. I make far more money elsewhere than I do doing this, but the detailing industry is my absolute passion. Uh, it is what I'm most passionate about, is finding ways to not compromise quality, but to give a better end result with product, process, and being eco-friendly. That is what matters to me as a detailer. Um, I'm fortunate, I've been very fortunate, I've worked very hard for a long time to get where I'm at, but I, I love this industry, I love, uh, I, I love that I can make people smile, I love that I can work hard and it gets noticed, but at the end of the day, what I made in that day is ultimately what's important to me and my family. And when it comes to that almighty dollar, we all want to make it. We all want more. We want to buy bigger and better toys. We want more toys. We want vacations. We want to do all kinds of stuff. I'm passionate about the detailing industry, but I'm most passionate about business. And again, you know, as a product line manufacturer, I can tell you whatever I want about my products. You'll never know how good they are unless you give them a shot yourself. But at the same rate, when it comes to products, these products are helping you as a detailer. They do give the customer uh, a better end result, which makes the customer happy uh, when they see the slickness and the shine and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, it's the products are for you to make your job easier to make you enjoy what you do more and I can go on a rant all day long about you know you guys being on a bandwagon and buying all this crap that sits on a shelf but ultimately you should focus less on the products and more on the customer and you'll get farther in this business because that's what we're in right we're in business to make money that's what we do. We're not in business to give our time away. We're not in business to throw money away. We're not in business to show our buddies our resume and make them happy or jealous or uh, proud to be your friend. We're in business to make money so that we can have the things that we want so that our families can have the things that they want that they want and so that we can enjoy our lives a little more that is the reason that we are in business if you cannot grasp the fact that you are in business to make money if you can't take yourself out of that hobbyist mentality and put yourself into a business person mentality, you will fail. You will fail in business. If you fail, your family's not happy, you're not happy, and then what do you do? You go back to work for somebody else so that you can help them win. That's not, that's not okay with me. So again, I stay on top of my game when I'm selling a detailing service, when I'm selling you a product, when I'm selling you anything, whether it be insurance, whether it be uh, beef jerky, 
whether it be construction materials, whether it be baked goods, whether it be, it doesn't matter what it is. If I sell you training, you gotta be on top of your game. You have to produce the best quality you can, but you have got to balance it with the different variables in the situation that matter. And what the customer wants and expects is the most important thing that matters. If you can please the customer every single time, you will be more successful, you will become successful, and that's it. Customer service to me is the most important thing I can possibly do. I am very customer centric. I am centered on the customer. You, you guys might be my customers. And just because I'm a sales guy and a, a businessman doesn't mean I don't care about my customers. My customers are number one. Learn it, understand it, comprehend it, love it, embrace it, do it. Take yourself out of the hobbyist mentality, become a business person, and enjoy what you do from there. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I hope that this helps somebody out there in the digital internet land. Because that is the most important advice that I could po possibly give you is You've got to find a way to get that hobbyist to go away, move that business person into the deal, and balance that, balance that business person with finding a way to enjoy what you do, but focus on that customer. Thanks for watching, guys. 813-846-4406. That's my cell phone number. If you don't use it, I can't help. Have a great day, guys.